Hi, we're at the Chesapeake Wellness Center in Stevensville, Maryland in the Business Park. We're going to meet Dr. Bills. Dr. Bills is a specialist in treating Lyme disease. He handles traditional and holistic medicine. Come in, let's meet him and learn a lot today. Now this is the problem. The ear ticks around here are very small. Lyme disease is epidemic. It's probably one of the most underdiagnosed and diagnosed, undertreated infectious disease in our country. It's epidemic. There's deer and woods and ticks all over the place. The Eastern Shore, Maryland, New England, all over the place. The problem is the deer ticks are very small. A lot of people we see when they with Lyme disease don't even recall a tick by their rash. It might have been on their scalp, could have been on your back. The bullseye rash they talk about we only see 10% of the time. But if you come down with unexplained joint pains, muscle pains, fatigue, brain fog, and headaches, it's Lyme disease until proven otherwise because this is epidemic around here and these are the common symptoms. Yes, you get joint pains, you get headaches, you get unusual fatigue and brain fog and so on. And so the blood test will miss it most of the time. If it shows positive, they think one antibiotic for one month and you're done. Well, if you had a tick bite a week or two ago, that might be enough. But if you have it for several months, you can't treated in one month. And these people, as I mentioned earlier, they get treated for a month, their symptoms start to get better. They stop their treatment, guess what, their symptoms come back. Yeah. Instead of recognizing the obvious, they didn't treat them long enough, well, I think we treated the Lyme, or you must have post-Lyme disease syndrome, whatever that is, or chronic fatigue, or fibromyalgia, unexplained joint pains and headaches, all these symptoms, instead of recognizing you treat them long enough, the ILADS protocol we've been using for 15 years has a 90% success rate. Treating chronic Lyme is never a 100-yard dash, it's a 26-mile marathon. Three months, six months, nine months, whatever it takes. Now you can take antibiotics safely for the long haul if you take plenty of probiotics uh -huh. and clean up your diet and get off the sugar and take your supplements and clean the list, the list goes on. So we have a 90 plus percent success rate, but it takes a while to get you to that point. Of course, the other part of my medical practice I've been doing, as I mentioned earlier, for 35 years is holistic medicine. Yeah. So in, this, in addition to being a chronic Lyme specialist, a lot of people, when drugs and surgery fail, where do they turn? They have to go to holistic doctors that have more tools. So whether you have cancer, heart disease, diabetes, stroke, and Alzheimer's, and we treat all of them holistically very successfully, they come to us because drugs and surgery have failed them and we have tools that can get them better. So we treat a lot of cancer patients holistically, we treat heart and vascular disease, diabetics, even people with Alzheimer's and arthritis very successfully over time because we have more tools, we take a holistic approach. Most of my new patients are desperate chronic Lyme patients. Now the problem is most doctors, as we explained by our handout, most doctors chose arbitrarily not to recognize chronic Lyme. Anything that lasts more than three to six months normally by definition is chronic but they decided arbitrarily not to do that. And that creates a lot of problems because, and these are rheumatologists, infectious disease doctors, and neurologists, and orthopedists, they all 95% said chronic Lyme doesn't exist. To me, it's like saying water's not wet. Anything that lasts more than three to six months is chronic. Now, how do you know you have Lyme disease if the blood test misses it? Yes, how do you know? Okay, this is an important principle to understand. You've probably never heard of the Herxheimer reaction. No, I haven't. Okay, this is how we know clinically you have Lyme disease. The only people, the only time we see Herxheimer type reactions, and I'll explain what that is, is when treating infections caused by spirochetes. Now the only spirochetal infection out there is a special corkscrew shaped organism. The only spirochetal infection out there is Lyme disease, the only one. There used to be syphilis a hundred years ago, we don't see that anymore. Something strange and unhappens when treating spirochetal infections today, Lyme disease. After being on antibiotics for a couple of weeks or so, what happens is at some point the bugs are going through a rapid developmental phase. The good news is during that time on antibiotics you're killing more bugs. The bad news is all these dead bugs in the breed get poured out of your system and you go through a temporary detoxification or die-off reaction which shows up as a temporary worsening of your symptoms called a Herxheimer reaction which is good news in two ways. It nails down the diagnosis of Lyme disease because only Lyme disease out there will cause that now, but it means over time you're going to get better. So after feeling worse for a while, we know we have your diagnosis. Lyme disease, after it's over, you notice, hey, I feel better after the reaction than I did before because during that time you were killing more bugs. Two or three weeks later, another flare-up. So like three steps forward, one step back. Three steps forward, one step back. We know you have Lyme because you have the Herx reaction and you get better thereafter. That's a clinical confirmation of Lyme disease. The other one is if you have a bullseye rash, mm -hmm. you have Lyme disease, but that only happens 10% of the time. I see. It's just 
drastically underdiagnosed and undertreated. The people are waiting for a blood test to show up. Why wait for a blood test that's going to be wrong most of the time? And the patient gets sicker and sicker and sicker. To so be proactive, take your antibiotics, take it with food. You haven't done any harm, and you prevent this from getting into a chronic condition. Okay. That would be my recommendation. Oh.